More often than not, 15 minutes is all it takes for superstars to create a lasting impression in the minds of their fans. And this opportunity to showcase both skill and musical innovation happens in no other place than the Super Bowl halftime. Here are the most live-viewed Super Bowl halftime shows. Let's begin with number 15, Michael Jackson with 90.9 million live viewers. The King of Pop was actually the first superstar to entertain an audience on the Super Bowl stage. Before that, marching bands performed during halftime. Michael, in 1993, outdid himself at the Super Bowl with We Are The World and Heal The World. He also didn't miss out on his signature moonwalk when he performed Billie Jean. My childhood was completely taken away from me. There was no Christmas, there was no birthdays. Those were exchanged for hard work, struggle and pain. However, today, when I create my music, I feel like an instrument of nature. I wonder what delight nature must feel when we open our hearts and express our God-given talents. After two decades, at the time of this video, MJ's performance is still considered one of the most iconic appearances on that global platform. In an era without social media and limited television reach, getting almost 91 million people to watch him perform was nothing short of phenomenal. Number 14, Prince. 93.1 million. In 2007, the sports world came to truly appreciate the talent of Prince when he performed at Super Bowl 41. With his mashed up versions of All Along the Watchtower by Bob Dylan to Queen's classic We Will Rock You, Prince put on an absolutely stunning show. The wet and rainy weather that day did dampen the usual excitement. However, Prince magically turned the rainy day in his favor when he sealed his performance with the beautiful rendition of Purple Rain. To date, no other singer has been able to replicate his fantastic style. Although he passed on in 2016, the memory of his performance has not dimmed. Number 13, The Weeknd with 96.7 million live viewers. Fans of the 2021 Super Bowl watched a horror-themed performance from The Weeknd. The show was set up in a manner reminiscent of a proper horror movie. The Weeknd himself remained invisible to the viewers until it was time to perform Blinding Lights. Since COVID-19 was still raging, the attendance was restricted to only 25,000, thus making it one of the least physically attended Super Bowls ever. However, these restrictions were not enough to deter the over 96 million people who still watched live from their homes. Playing sports must be way more nerve-wracking. <laughs> than singing? Yeah, dude, really? because singing, everybody wants to see you sing and wants to hear you, but sports, like you cannot <laughs> lose, bro. <laughs> yeah. Number 12. Maroon 5, 98.2 million. The 2019 edition of the Super Bowl came with some hitches. One of the star quarterbacks, Colin Kaepernick, had been technically blacklisted by the NFL for taking the knee, meaning kneeling down during the national anthem to protest racial injustice. This drew the ire of some of the biggest musical artists and the NFL's role in his career was not well received by the African-American communities. Singers like Cardi B and Rihanna did not hesitate to turn down their invitations to perform. This meant that for the first time, the usual musical halftime event was likely going to be put on hold. However, Maroon 5, the Los Angeles five-man pop group, decided to perform at the event, including guest appearances from Big Boy and Travis Scott. We all have differences. I mean, Justin and I are best friends, and we couldn't be more different. I think that the key to a healthy relationship with your band is definitely give people their distance, let people be who they're gonna be, of course, criticize it um, in a nice way. Number 11, Jennifer Lopez and Shakira with 104 million viewers. Following the NFL's trouble with Kaepernick, the 2020 Super Bowl still had a number of artists boycotting the halftime stage. However, Shakira and Jennifer Lopez did not let their fans down as they took the stage by storm, electrifying it with their performances and reaching over 100 million live views. From their hard-to-forget stage entry to Shakira's guitar playing, they thrilled everyone who watched them. Emma Lopez's daughter had the opportunity to perform with them as she sang Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. My music teacher, he didn't what? like my voice. He thought I was too disruptive for the choir because my voice was too strong. And uh, yeah, he never let me in the choir and it was a huge frustration for me. Number 10, Janet Jackson, 106.6 million. In the 2004 Super Bowl competition, Janet Jackson performed alongside stars like Diddy, Nelly, Kid Rock, and, of course, Justin Timberlake. While Nelly sang Hot in Here in a Red Car, Diddy sang Under a Smoky Cloud. 
In the course of the performance being watched by well over 106 million people, Justin Timberlake took off a piece of clothing from his co-singer, Janet, during a duet. This led to a massive outrage and massively impacted Janet Jackson's career in a negative way. Inappropriate and quite a disaster at the time, CBS and MTV, the broadcast partners for the event, had to apologize for this incident. They insisted they had no idea that the duo had planned to pull such a stunt. What people don't understand is he was to take and rip the piece off that he did. The leather but, piece. Right, but more came off than what was supposed yeah. to. So he was supposed to pull that off and we just see the red yes. there. Number nine, Black Eyed Peas, 110.2 million. In February 2011, the Black Eyed Peas wowed their physical fans and those who watched their live performances with some of their hit songs, beginning with I Got a Feeling, followed by Boom Boom Pow. Midway through the show, Usher Raymond appeared on stage to sing OMG. With black style, futuristic outfits, the singers put up a stunning show. And even five years ago when I was battling cancer, it taught me a lot about this DNA that we have as a unit. Yeah, I had a little bit of doubt within myself, but then I, my, my brothers were there for me and they were, you know, the thing that kept me fighting off. Number eight, Beyonce and Destiny's Child, 110.8 million. In 2013, the versatile R&B queen reunited with her first singing group, Destiny's Child, to create one of the most unforgettable shows of all time. Top on the list were songs like Baby Boy and Crazy in Love. It is on record that the show was so electrifying that a power outage occurred moments later, taking out as much as half of all the lights. Fortunately, the problem was quickly fixed for the remaining events of the day to go on. I definitely collaborate and I respect people that I work with, but I dreamt the performance before it happened. We went through so many different drafts. You know, we made changes every day and we tweaked every day and we wanted to perfect every day. Number seven, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem and Co, 112 million. A star studded cast who ruled the musical world of hip hop, R&B and rap in the late 90s and early 2000s hit the 56th Super Bowl in 2022. The performance from Snoop Dogg and his fellow singers like Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar was so good that it even earned them an Emmy Award. This is the first time that a Super Bowl halftime performance has achieved this. It was simply historic and a groundbreaking show. The Super Bowl is the biggest sporting event in the world, mm. and hip-hop is the biggest form of music in the world. Yep. And for us to be able to have the opportunity to bring the two worlds together, this is what it's about. This is what hip-hop and the NFL is supposed to be about representing about change, about moving forward, so. Number six, Madonna, 114 million viewers. 10 years before that, Madonna had already managed to get even more live viewers. In 2012, the queen of pop and transgenerational singer was on the ground to grace the stage of the 46th Super Bowl. Arriving on stage carried by ancient Spartan soldiers, Madonna decked herself in a costume that was suggestive of a Greek goddess. On stage with her was an energetic Nicki Minaj, and together they performed Give Me All Your Lovin'. The Super Bowl is like God in America, right? It's like the church of, the church of sports. It's like the whole country is watching this game, and it's everything. It means so much to people. And then I come in there during halftime. I better put on a damn good show, right? Number five, Bruno Mars, 115.3 million. For starters, in 2014, many people did not believe that Bruno Mars had the required song mix to entertain the audience, but contrary to this opinion, he managed to deliver. Starting with school kids who locked hands together in front of a star-spangled banner and finishing the show with soldiers singing Just the Way You Are, the talented Hawaiian together with the Red Hot Chili Peppers put up an unforgettable show for all to enjoy. Any young aspiring musicians out there, if music is what you want to do, if music is what you love and your passion, it's about you putting in the work, practicing every day, practicing your vocals, practicing your instrument, and hopefully one day you write the song, you know, the whole world wants to get down to. Number four, Coldplay, 115.5 million. Teaming up with Beyonce and Bruno Mars, the British group Coldplay entertained over 115 million people during the 2016 Super Bowl halftime show. After the introductory song Yellow, they went on to perform other songs like Viva La Vida, Adventure of a Lifetime, and Paradise. 
Although a number of critics believe that Beyonce overshadowed the headliners for the show, it was not enough to stop their loyal fans from gushing over them. Our idea was let's let's show like a picture of togetherness in this time of everyone being so divided. You know, let's show like we all get along and everyone's voices count. And Bruno was like, yeah, let's have a dance off. But I'd asked him to be there, so I, I couldn't say no. Yeah, no, it was And great. then we were in rehearsal the day before and, and they were doing their thing and Beyonce was like, come on. I was like, I, I, I'll just stay back here. <laughs> On number three, we have Lady Gaga with 117.5 million viewers. The energetic and versatile artist put up a stunning show with extraordinary live vocals and a great choreography. For her performance, she started with God Bless America before continuing with songs like Born This Way, Poker Face, and Bad Romance. Not one to shy away from costumes, she didn't disappoint with her signature and outlandish outfits. What it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. If there's a discipline for passion, and it's not about how many times you get rejected, or but you fall down or you're beaten up. It's about how many times you stand up and are brave and you keep on going, thank you. Number two, Rihanna, 118.7 million. After coming back from a release break, the Diamond Singer lit up the 2023 Super Bowl stage with her presence. Surprisingly, the 34-year-old mother showed up with a baby bump. However, this was not enough to stop her from wholeheartedly performing 12 of some of her greatest songs. It'll be an understatement to say that she thrilled her audience. Her show also led to an increase of around 390% in digital sales of her songs. For someone who has not released any new music in a while, this is a pretty good way to boost sales. I mean, when I first got the call to do it again this year, it, it, I was like... <laughs> You sure? Like I'm, I'm, I'm three months postpartum. Like, should I be making major decisions like this right now? Like, I might regret this. But if, when you become a mom, there's something that just happens where you feel like you could take on the world. You can do anything. And and now on to the most viewed Super Bowl halftime show of all time. Finally, number one is Katy Perry with 121 million live viewers. For this 2015 show, Katie did not only make a grand entry atop a huge lion puppet, she also made sure to have a roaring sound accompanying her entry. Topping the chart as the most viewed Super Bowl halftime show of all time, Katie performed Firework Off the Ground as she glided through the air giving her audience a spectacle. For other aspects of her performance, she had cameos from Missy Elliott and Lenny Kravitz. However, Lef Shark, a dancer in a shark costume, seemed to steal the entire show with his unique dance style a style that quickly went viral. The costume that I was running, the balloon outfit, you know, the beach, beach balloon outfit, it was made of latex. And then when I went down on the fireman's pole, it split in half. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, I was a few days out from actually playing the day. And I was like, oh, this is why we do rehearsals with costumes. Is there an artist that will overtake Katie in the near future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe to To The Top.